Hello friends, welcome back in my YouTube channel. My name is Shivaji Dipna. Today I will be discuss about third part of audio clip project development series with Minstack. In previous videos, I already talk about Angular environment setup and W3 CSS bootstrap dependencies used for this design. Also, I was create audio play card design like this. Today, I will be discuss about how can access server data as a API through JSON. So here. I will be create a data.json file for data accessing part. So here I am using service part on this Angular project. Also, I access data.json file in our applications. If you are interested on this topic, then watch this till the end. I will be detail discuss about this topic and explain step by step. So stay with me. Now we can go to our tutorial. So this is our design where we are implementing JSON data on this part. So for that purpose, we are go to our coding part. So now this is our continuous project where we are implementing data.json file in the assets folder because we are not using a real server in this project currently. So for that purpose, we are using a sample data for this application. Okay. So for that purpose, we are creating a new file called data.json and this file created in the assets folder on our audio clip project. Here I will be create JSON data object for the audio card where we can see our background data which we want to see in our design okay so what will be data so basically here we have so many cards like this is our card and this is our category part so we are creating two part of the json file so we are first create array and second part we will be create data object okay so how can create sample data json this is our sample data where we are creating first as a array syntax like third bracket and second bracket using for the json object this is our key name which is the before clone sign and after that we are using value format in the double quotations and also we are creating the list for the songs list like this so this song list also an array and array also an object and this object have key name like image label author and url so these four objects will be seen in our audio card so this image currently comes from from access folder but here we can use any kind of server url and also we can use a songs link any kind of website url here okay so this four object key we will be use in this card so this is our object file and now we need to be save this file and after then we will be create a service file so how can create that service now we can create a service file using the command ng means angular command and g means generate and s means service also we can create services folder and there we can use cloud data service will be file name okay so this is our service class name cloud data service files will be created in the service folder it is the services folder and here we are getting two files one is the main cloud data service dot ts and another is the cloud service dot spec dot ts this file not necessary for this application so we can delete this file from our project now we can implementing our data part in this service file when we want to accessing the data through service so first thing we need to be import some module which call http client module that means angular is the client side of the applications so basically here have some module package need to be import in the app module.ts where we need to be import sections go to the import section and here we can call http client modules this client module need to be import in this section but we need to be import that module in the import sections and we are importing from at the rate angular slash common slash http this is our module name and from this module we can import 
HTTP client module. So this is our HTTP client module, which need to be import here. And this client module need to use in import sections of the app module.ts file. Okay. So after then we need to be save it and then we need to be go to our cloud data dot service ts file and here we can create http object and here we are using class name http client not client module and why we are using the private accessor because when we want to create a http object so that object treated as local object of cloud data service file this is the most important part if you are not using the private or public access specifier so you cannot access this http object in our class so it is very much important okay now data.json file we need to be linked in this service so how can do that so here we can create another function which called get data and this get data can return server data from this function we can accessing this http object and here we can get function name where we can specify the url we can use data file like this and save it we don't necessarily any kind of type casting in this format and it is so much simple which i am using the technique after then this class need to be import in our component file we are using the home component.ts for the card design this audio play card have home component.html file i have this kind of design now we just need one sample where we are generating the all the data comes from json data and here we are using loop syntax in this part okay so now we need to be refresh the browser only seen one card in this design because we are already save it only one card in the top song sections but recent section or any other section also there but we don't need rest of the part so currently we can comment out this sections so after then we can see only one card in this design now we need to be generate all the card sections as per data for that purpose we need to be accessing that data through services so we need to be go to our home.component.ts and here we need to be import or create a data object file private cloud data like this and cloud data service class object and now we need to be testing json data in our component part cloud data object and also get data is a function and this functions return a observable object okay observable is a object where have some another functions like subscribe this is the rx functions i am using es6 function syntax fat array accessing the data and when we want to accessing the data in our browser console so for that purpose we are using the console.log so now we need to go in our browser and right click here and also go to our inspect and here we can go to our console and now we can check out our data we are getting the list and objects everything from our files so much simple process uh, where we can getting data.json data in our browser console this data using for this design card and this data is will be accessing in design part and also we can get dynamic data like this for our applications server part so we can first checking the data in our consoles and now we just simply using a object which call songs data using as a observable okay and this observable type is any any kind of data can be used here so this is our declaration process like this we just simply use here like this so right now we don't need the subscriber part 
so i just remove it and just using simply this syntax this is our observable object and this constants return an observable data but this data can be accessing in our html part so now we can create a wrapper tip and this wrapper tip we can use a angular directive which called ng4 directive we can use like this and this format will be using for wrapping this process and here we just use let cat of songs data this song data comes from home component.ts this is our songs data is a observable object and this observable object can be accessing in our html part so when we are using the html part directly we cannot accessing the observable data like this so for that purpose we need to be using pipes which call filters the another name so we can use async pipes like this when we are using async pipes for observable object that pipes will be returned json data as a object and that object will be populate in our html part so now we can use cat dot name because we can accessing the data as a object like this songs data name not a correct um, because this songs data and this songs name is incorrect in this file so right now we need to be save here and now this songs data will be getting here this is the category names we can get the category name from our data file we need to be create multiple cards in our design part so this is our card section and here we can use another ng for directives for songs list data so this is our song of data getting from the category list so cat dot list is the another list object so this is our list object so, I mean, list array object basically so this list array have actual data object uh, which is called as a song we can get the data from this song object now we can use property binder here so here we can use property binder like this and we can also use single syntax uh, for optional purpose if we can get the actual data like song dot we first using the image link so we are using image link here we are using songs dot image or this is the or sign and if we are not getting in the image source from this part then we can get the default image like this and also we can use another part of the songs name so this is our songs name where we can use the songs name so here we can use interpolation sign and we can use song label basically this is the label of the songs part so this is our songs name uh, will be displayed here and save it so now we can get all the data as per json data so this is the background data accessing process for this card okay in the next part we will be discuss keyword sections so we will be create queue card when we are clicking any songs play card this songs card will be added in keyword sections for that purpose we can using state management in this applications next tutorial i will cover keyword sections and after then we can talk about state management part in angular and how can added songs play card in the keyword sections after then final part will be playbar sections we can listen all the songs one by one as per queue list so this is my today's topic if you like my today's topic then press like button of this video and share my video with your friends if you want to know about something on this topic then comment on this video also don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel we will be meeting in the next video